Hello, we are back with another Woods Kids unboxing today. And if you've been thinking, hey Theo, we haven't seen a lot of mini reviews on your channel lately. Well, last month was super busy. We had a lot of Kickstarter videos that we were contracted to do. We had a lot of real life things happening, but we should be getting back to normal this month. So first, thank you as always to WizKids for sending this to us to review. And before we get started, I don't want you to forget to check out our free series of 5e and Pathfinder magic items and monsters that are ready to add to your games. We have them on our Instagram and Twitter and subreddit. You can get even more on our Patreon. This week we introduced maybe the most powerful item yet, the Pebble of Distraction, based on my favorite mini. Visit our sites to get more gameplay mechanics and everything you need to know to add it to your game. But for now, let's open up this box here and see what we have from WizKids. This video is brought to you by Hit Point Press. Are you ready to introduce a whole new style of dragon to your 5e campaigns? The Field Guide to Floral Dragons is a lushly illustrated hardcover book with 26 brand new floral dragons, plus pests, pollinators, and fungi, not to mention new magic items and poisons, all with rich lore, biology, habitats, stat blocks, and story hooks. From the tiny-sized, plane-hopping dandelion dragon, to the haughty and toxic larkspur dragon, to the kind-hearted avuncular apple tree dragon. You'll be able to get the book plus reference cards, minis, and more in the Kickstarter going on now. Use our links in the corner or in the doohickey down below. That is the Field Guide to Floral Dragons on Kickstarter now. All right, time to unbox. Oh, right off the bat. Okay, we're gonna start small and work our way up. We are gonna start with some Dungeons and Dragons book tabs. Now, these have been out for a while now. They're, I think they're making them for each new book that comes out from Wizards of the Coast for D&D. Uh, &D. And all these are, are little tabs to add to the pages of your book in order to easily reference sections that you may need to find when you're game mastering uh, for D&D. &D. Uh, they're colorful, they stick to your pages, and there's not a lot else to say about them. I think they also come with a few blank tabs if you want to do some customization for it, but, you know, should just make flipping back and forth uh, during your gameplay a little bit easier, which is good, because the worst part about game mastering when you're doing out of a hardcover book is having to slow things down to find what you're looking for. So this can be a little nice help for that. All right, then maybe the thing I've been looking forward to the most over the last year or so from WizKids. This is the Pathfinder Battles Leshy Window Buck Set, which is a great name, by the way. Uh, the Leshies are a playable ancestry. They're a core playable ancestry now with the remaster for Pathfinder 2nd Edition, and they are very cute plant-based creatures, uh, humanoids, that you can be in your Pathfinder games. I have a spoiler about something that we're doing, but I'm not gonna tell you. You said to stay tuned for that. Uh, but this one has a fungus leshy, a seaweed leshy, a super cute cactus leshy, a sunflower leshy, which kind of goes with some of our queer finder stuff. We have a fly trap, trap leshy, a very Halloween-esque gourd leshy, a fruit leshy, and a lotus leshy. And they're absolutely adorable. They're all small sized and amazing. And I will probably review this right away because I want you to see the more of this. So that is our Leshy window box set. We've got to keep them in the window so they get their sun. Uh, let's see, I think. Oh, let's see if there's anything else small in here. Oh, we do have another set of book tabs. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned what this one was for. This was for the Shattered Obelisk, uh, Findelver and Below. And then this one is for Bigby Presents Glory of the Giants. Uh, doesn't, oh, this one has, ooh, this one has 103 pre-printed book tabs. That's amazing. And then 21 blank ones. And this one has 59 pre-painted tabs and 13 blank ones for friend over and below. Uh, so there are those if you need them for your books. And let's get to some larger things. I see a couple here. What is this? Oh my God, this is really heavy. This is one of the heaviest boxes we've gotten yet from... Wizkits. This is Adventure in a Box, the Red Dragon's Lair. Uh, we've had a couple of smaller Adventures in a Box, which I don't think I've had time to review necessarily. I'm about halfway through writing up a script for several of them. I need to get those done for you. But uh, this one has a lot of terrain. It has a lot of minis in here. There's a young red dragon mini. There's eggs. There's a treasure pile. There's kobolds. There's stalagmites. 
there's lots of stalagmites. Uh, there's a map. Uh, quite an extensive map. Uh, yeah, this is really interesting. Uh, let's see if this one actually comes. Yeah, six pre-painted miniatures. Um, it doesn't necessarily say if there's an actual adventure included. Uh, some of the ones that have come out so far have had little bit of little adventures, and some are just kind of the settings for you to tell your own story. So yeah, we'll get to this really soon and see what it has to offer, but it's enormously heavy. I'm surprised. I wonder what in here is making that weigh so much, because it's not a huge dragon mini. We'll find out. And then, maybe last, let's see if there's anything else in the bottom of this, but we have our next adult dragon from WizKids. This is the Icons of the Realms Adult Moonstone Dragon. Uh, cool looking dragon. Yeah, one of our newest ones in the series. It's a little hard to tell if it has, I think it might have translucent wings. It's a little hard to tell. We'll have to get out of the box to find out for sure. Uh, the next entry was just announced, I think today or yesterday as well. And that one's also interesting and a little bit out of left field. They announced the Ghost Red Dragon, the adult Ghost Red Dragon, which you can see here. Really cool looking mini too. So if you like your adult dragons and you're trying to finish off your collection, here we go. We'll get to this one very soon as well because we'd like to get these covered as quickly as we can. Let me clear up some space here and let's see if there's anything else in our box. I think that might. Oh, we do have one last set of book tabs. I'll put this down here. <laughs> this is the book tabs for Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. So it looks like they're trying to finish covering their bases from last year. Uh, 92 pre-printed ones and 20 blank ones. So yeah, these are nice. If you've been using these, let me know what you think about them. I mostly run things online now with D&D &D Beyond if I'm running D&D &D adventures. So I don't use the books all that often because I just find D&D &D Beyond to be a little bit more convenient for what I need. But uh, if you're running out of books and you've tried these tabs, let me know what you think. And again, many thanks to Whiskers for sending all of this our way to review. Stay tuned for our full reviews of each of them. Uh, probably won't do full reviews of the book tabs, but maybe we'll kind of take a little bit of a closer look and throw some pictures up or something online. Uh, we also have the new Epic Encounter boxes to show you from Steamforge Games and a whole bunch of other stuff, so be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of that. And leaving us a like helps us feed the algorithm too. Remember to check out the Bonfire Bite series, and if you'd like to get yourself a kobold like this one here, Coda, you can find them over at our reorganized web, web shop over at heroplush.com. Everything's a little easier to find over there. You can also find us online at one of the sites over here. But for now, please stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. <laughs>